Hello and welcome back to the farm and our stuff has grown. It is looking really, really good. Let's take a look on the map on how far it has actually grown. Oh look, the neighbor has uh, put down soybeans as well. Awesome. Let us take a look at how much it has actually grown. It is almost ready to harvest. Well, I do say almost, but it is about two months away. <laughs> <laughs> so not almost, but uh, almost. And the soybeans, well, they're a little bit further away. But let us take a look if they too have started showing up. I think they have. Oh yeah. The soybeans are starting to show, but also we have some weeds, it seems. Yep, we got weeds in field 47 that we need to take care of today. But we also need to take care of something else because, oh, we have lettuce. Because in the last episode, I'll get back to the lettuce in a moment, we did a poll on whether or not we should place the, I'm gonna make sure that I say it correctly, uh, production generators right here, the municipal subsidy, municipal subsidy. I ran a vote in the last episode whether or not we should be able to place this and the vote returned yes, we should and I agree with that. So we're going to be placing this today and I'm not sure where we should place it. Obviously I wanted, I guess, out here somewhere? I guess that works. Somewhere in the corner maybe? Yeah, I think right there. Boom. Placed. So this will make it so we get 8,400 uh, from the government per month to support the farm and what we do here, which is amazing. And this will in general just help the series move along a little bit quicker. And I think it is pretty realistic as well. So let us take a look at our new fancy sign over here. Yeah, we don't have any weeds in these fields, which are good. But let's take a look at our sign. Yep. Awesome. Very, very nice to have that. Actually, let's take a quick look in the forecast as well. We have any rain? Not a, no rain, but a little bit cloudy, which I don't mind at all. Let's take a quick look at the used machinery as well. Yeah, yeah. Nothing that we can really afford. But let's head into the tractor and take care of those weeds. Oh yeah, the letters. We have letters generated from each greenhouse right here. Very cool. So we have a thousand liters in total. Just want to make sure that they have the water that they require. They do indeed. They should be all right for quite a long time, actually. We won't be needing to do anything here for a long time. So that's perfect. All right, let us head into the tractor. Where's my tractor? There it is. And I think it already has the road crop tires on, which are, yep, perfect. All right, let us take on the weeder, which should be right on the other side. Let's see if I can do a fancy U-turn here. I probably won't nail it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, I will. Haha. -ha. Perfect. Attach that. Turn around. And there we go. All right. I will also want to check if we have any contracts today as well that we can potentially do. I'll check. Actually, I should probably check that before I set the wheel to work here. But let's head on over to the other field first here. Yeah, we really need to take care of these weeds before it is too late. Otherwise they get too big and this weeder won't be able to take care of them. And we don't want any of that. Perfect. Let's put the tractor into position. And let's take a look if there are any contracts that we might be able to do. You never know. Bailing cultivating there is a big field that needs cultivating right here that is doable plowing there's also some plowing jobs plowing field 72 let's take a look at field 72 and 70 which should be i think yeah down here so that is 72 and that is 70. <laughs> yeah the, the the ones that give the most price or the most money are obviously some of the bigger fields and I have decided I don't think I'm going to do any more sowing jobs, mainly because I would need to buy the seed as well, which, yeah, decreases the money that we get. Um, so, yeah, I would like to do a, a job, but I would like a field that is easy for a worker to do. Um, there is field 69, 
69 should be right over here. Yeah, I feel like these fields are a bit difficult for the for the worker to do. There's bailing, obviously, but yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> that didn't go too well. I don't think I'm gonna choose a car track today. At least not right now. We're just gonna focus on the weeding, and maybe we might just skip to the next month if there's nothing else to do on the farm. And we might see our first money come in from the sign we placed down as well, so that'll be fun. The place is looking very awesome indeed. All the green colors are coming out. It is May. Gotta love it. Alright. Huh. It appears that I gave the neighboring field a little bit of lime. But yeah, this... Let's head into this view right here. Uh, yeah, this, um, this subsidy is going to help us do more things. It is going to help us, A, get more machinery that we don't have to lease. For example, maybe a bigger cultivator, uh, a ba uh, maybe a bigger cedar as well. That's going to be a huge thing. Um, and we will be able to put the money towards uh, paying up the, the loan on the bank uh, that we have in the bank and also be able to buy more fields down the road as well. So all in all, it is really, really great to have that. And I missed a spot. We can't be missing spots here. There we go. Alrighty. Doing good. Yeah, this particular job is honestly a lot easier done outside. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna get this field done. It should only take a second. And we'll see what we need to do next. Oh! I just remembered, actually. I'll get to the end of this field. When we did that baling contract, we produced silage bales, and I remember we have two bales left over from that, so I want to check the silage price, because we might be able to sell those and get a little bit of money. So, hold on, let's take a look at the prices here for silage. Uh, silage right here. Ew. <laughs> uh, let's take a look here. We're currently in May. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> we want to we wanna wait to, until January, but we might go ahead and just retrieve them, get them from uh, the sell point, because they are still waiting over there. So yeah, we might as well equip the front loader to, uh, to the tractor here, and then go ahead and retrieve them and put them somewhere by our farm until that is done. Or until the price is uh, ready for selling. Am I going to miss a bit? I'm definitely going to miss a bit here. We can't have that. But yeah, I'm going to keep doing this. We'll finish the field. I don't even know if I'm going to time lapse it. We, I, I'm at a weird spot when it comes to the time lapses of this series. And I would like some feedback on it down below in the comments. Because time lapses, obviously, there's no game music. And it goes fast, and there's music. Is it enjoyable to watch the time lapses, or are they too long? Because I feel like sometimes they can be too long, but I also don't want things to go by too fast, if you know what I mean. So I'm very, I'm very not sure about the time lapses in this series. So please do give feedback down below in the comments. Are you enjoying them, or are they too long? Are they too short? Shouldn't there be any time lapses at all? Should it just be me doing a job like this? I mean, I could do it and then just not say anything until the job is done. Basically like I do with the time lapse, but in real time. Yeah, let me know down below in the comments. It's something that I'm not quite sure about with this series. Would like some feedback on it. But I will go ahead and time lapse the rest of this field. We're almost half done, so I'll see you at the end of it. Let's go.
All right, just missing a tiny bit out here on the side. We should be done in about... In about... I still see weeds. There we go. <laughs> I know it's showing these small lines, but really they don't have that much of the effect. Barely any effect at all. In fact, I don't even think it is visible. So that is that done. All right. I think we are going to... Whoop. That's a bridge. I think we're gonna head on over to equip the front loader. We'll get those silage bales if we can. I think we should be able to. Oh, there's a deer in our field. Um, yeah, we'll get those silage bales. And then uh, I'll take this tractor over to the shop as well to get rid of the... Not get rid of, to exchange the, the tires for the normal ones. <laughs> we don't need the crop tires anymore, I don't think. So we can do that. You know what? Yeah, this place works for it. This place works for the weeder together with the tractor. That works. All right. Where is my front loader? Here it is. I wonder if we have any bags of seeds over on the shop or by the shop. I guess we will find out. Let's make this a little bit less deadly. There we go. All right, let's head to the shop and exchange these wheels. Oncoming traffic, but we are far enough away. Perfect. And I will bring up the GPS here because I never know when to turn. There we go. And I believe, yep, next time, I gotta remember, it is after the board and I can't see anything for the front loader. Uh, yeah, we do actually have a bag of seeds. I remembered correctly. We have so much seed and that's and that's, uh, that's from the sewing contracts, which is why yeah, I don't like them too much. But let us go ahead and customize the tractor now. Uh, narrow tires. We need the standard tires. Done. Perfect. Oh, that's all the wrong buttons. Flip that back and start the engine. All right, so now question is, where will the silage bales be? I think they're gonna be over here. So just follow this road all the way down and we should be good. Okay, I wonder, is there another way we could take? A more adventurous route? Um. I think there is, but I think I'll just stick to the straight way here. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit faster and also a little bit safer. I might get lost otherwise. Also, I know this road, so it'll be easier. I just remembered that I didn't bring the bag of seeds, so I'm going to find a place where I can... Do a U-turn. Except I can't anywhere. <laughs> the yellow lines are everywhere. Well, I mean, I can turn into my farm here, so... Turn on the working lights and there we go. We can do anything, right? Kind of. That's how it works, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how it works. It's fine. Maybe. Potentially. It's fine. Deja Wu? Anyone? I feel like I've just driven up here. Hmm. Yep. Feels like I just did this. But here we are. And... Perfect. I'm starting to learn to use this thing with the mouse. Lovely. All right. Back to the farm now. All right. Here we are. And I'll place this together with the other... Do I have another seed bag? I have the thing with the pallet and the seed right there by the tree. Yep, I'll place this there. Uh, I think this is the only seeds that we have, actually. Well, and then we have stuff in the cedar, of course. So, yeah, I'll place this... Like... Yep, right there. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely learning how to manage this thing. Sick. Okay, now let's go and pick up the silage. Our brand new 
I keep forgetting that word. Sub, sub, si, uh, sub, di, sub, si. <laughs> English isn't my main language, okay? <laughs> or first language, I should say. Isn't that what it's called? First language? Main language? I think first language is the right thing to say. It is definitely quite dark out today, but I don't mind. It has, to me anyway, a nice atmosphere. But anyways, I think, I think the bales should be, yep, right there. There they are. Our two silage bales, I believe. Do we have a liter in each? Or a thousand liters in each? I don't know. I think I should be able to just spike them with this. And it should work. Oh wait, I have three. I didn't realize I have three. Ooh, I'll need to do some stacking, I think. Okay. Lower this. I'm gonna do this in third person here. 3,500. So that means we have 7,000... 10,000 and a half liters of... Oh, that was that was rather perfect. <laughs> of uh, silage. Hmm. Okay then. So I've gotten this thing to be like that. So I think I should just be able to put it on top of the other three, and then pick up all three at the same time. Maybe. At least that's my battle plan. Don't know how well it's gonna work. There's actually one thing, one equipment that I really need. Especially for when we start selling the letters. I will show you. Uh, if we go into here, and I think scroll down to... Uh, where is it? Miscellaneous. This right here, a trailer. This is what I've been looking for the other times. It's only 8,000, and we can stack, well, bales and pallets and whatnot here, and we can... Use it to transport, well, our salad and, or letters, I should say letters. <laughs> our letters and also, well, stuff like this, way easier. So we will have to buy that at some point. But let's see if this won't do the trick. Uh-oh. Hmm. If I drive very, very carefully... I think this will be fine. I think this will be fine. Hopefully. I mean, they're not... Hmm. Yeah, I lost one. I will just have to take this one that is being annoying and then the other two afterwards i could just leave them there but it is for almost like half a year if not more than that they would have to stand there i don't think the shop would appreciate it if i just left them there and then didn't sell them until eight months later so <laughs> we'll move these back to the farm they will be safer there anyway um and then i will remember that i actually have them because i actually forgot about them up until now so yeah we'll move them Stacking three high, just... Yeah, without a strap, that's not really a good idea. All right, here we are. Now the question is, where am I gonna... Place it? Hmm. Where would be a good spot? I guess over here could work. Watch out for the pillar. Yeah, that works. By the time we're actually gonna sell this... Uh, we will have that trailer. I was tempted to buy it now, but I really, really need a silo by the time we do the harvesting and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I don't want to use my money just yet until we have that. I want to make sure that we have enough for it by the time we do the harvesting. Alright. Picking up the other two. Make sure I get in straight here. I 
Yep. Uh, that's a little bit high. Let's get in a bit lower. There we go. Whoa. I think I hit the wall. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Perfect. If the prices are as low as they are now, which is about $160 for a thousand liters, that would give us... Oh boy, didn't expect to do math. Well, it would give us something, but my point is, if the prices go up, let's say, times eight, we could get maybe like $10,000 from just these three bales. It might be a bit too much or expecting too much, but... At least that's what I feel like we would be able to get. What is going on here? I'm not able to unload, apparently. There we go. Perfect. Uh, you won't go anywhere, will you? <laughs> I've had enough of you guys rolling around. Let's put you right there. Can't roll anywhere now. And I might as well leave this here. Nah, a little bit too unstable grounds for that. I'll leave it here and drive right in and equip it. Perfect. Right. Well, I think that, I mean, that is all of the jobs on the farm, at least right now. Yeah, there's nothing else really to do during this month. So either we skip to the next month which wouldn't really introduce any more work anyway. Or I take a contract that I can do myself. Hmm. Bailing. Well, it does say plus five there. So yeah, no, not doing bailing today. I think let us skip over to the next month. We'll see what contracts are over there. None of them are really interesting to me right now. We'll see if there's anything on the used machinery. And uh, we might get our very first 8,400. So I'll see you in the morning. All right, waking up, a little bit of rain. It looks like it is rain. All right, so we get 5,600 property income. That might be after reducing or taking off all the, uh, what's it called? Well, it does, it does say 26. So, oh wow, it's thundering. 26,000, we had, what, 19,000 when we when we uh, went to bed? Something like that? Not too bad. All right, so we now have 26,000. Oh, wow. It's being windy. Okay, let us take a look at the used machinery market real quick. Ooh. I say ooh, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> That's another tractor. What's this? Uh, ah, four towers, the thingy. A windrower if we were doing grass. This, though. Huh. That's 142 horsepower. Again, we need to silo. I want to prioritize that. Another thing that I would really love for us to get... Oh, the rain stopped. Is if we go into here in construction and sheds. Uh, I think it's sheds? Yeah. It's something like this. It is big, but we really do need storage for our machinery. So having something like this again i think i'm gonna start using this field as a place for structures so having something like this right here then maybe the silo go right here or something like that would be ideal i don't know if there's anything cheaper but yeah eventually getting something like this would be really really good for storing uh our machinery but let's take a look at the fields here no more weeds that is good and let us take a look here, right. This is almost ready to harvest. So we'll harvest these fields in the next episode for sure. We have another pallet of lettuce over here spawned. That is amazing. All right, let me take a look at the contracts and see what we got. We got more bailing. Again, not interested in that. Uh, these two were from yesterday. It might be the same stuff that was from yesterday, you know. I am gonna take a little bit of a crazy contract here. I'm gonna take this contract, field 69. 
6,677. I will... Hold on. Uh, hmm. Which one would be more worth it? That cultivator seems much smaller than this one. And I think that is because it is. This is 15 meters working width. And this is just eight, so I would be able to do the other one. Even though it's a huge field, I would be able to do it rather quickly. Mm, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be a bit crazy. It's gonna be very crazy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do a contract this big, but it will give us all of the money that we require in order to get the silo in the next episode. Which, honestly, we need that. We really do need that. All right, heading over to field 70. On with the work lights here. This is some very big equipment right here. I'm actually excited to use this. I'm not gonna lie, what's the interior? Right. This cab is huge. Why is my seatbelt not on? That's an issue. That must be impressive seeing this roll down the road. <laughs> wow. Yeah, imagine using that thing on these fields right here on ours. We would be done in less than a minute, I think. All right. Turn down here. Now this field 70 is one of the neighboring fields. If we take a look at the map here. Oh yeah, that one way down there. It is going to take a little bit to do, but again, this cultivator is huge, so it honestly shouldn't take that long. So this, I think, should be an easy $9,000. Alright, right past this train right here, or the train track, this is the field. I will be timing how long it actually takes to do this. I have my phone. Whoa, that... That's wide. <laughs> Alright, let me get a stopwatch here. I think this is gonna be done very quickly. Ah, it's one of these, though. It's gonna be a bit tricky to drive. But all things considered, I think I can forgive it. <laughs> Alright. Well... Shall we get going? I will start the stopwatch. I'm missing a bit out there. I will go out so I get it. Wow. Yeah. Well. I guess I'll see you <laughs> when we're done. Yeah, this shouldn't take long at all. I want to make sure I don't miss spots out there, though. It is forgiving. So if we miss a few pieces here and there, it's not going to be the end of the world. It will forgive us and just do it. But I will try and not mess up this out here. It's a bit difficult to drive, but we'll manage. I'll see you when we're done.
So, almost finished. This has been really fun, actually. It has taken a while. It has taken, so far, 25 minutes in real time to do this field. But honestly, it's been fun using this machine. I have had issues with it. Well, not issues, but I have had difficulties driving this thing. It's different from what I'm used to, but it's been very good fun. We're just missing this small patch right here, and then we are done. I will also want to take a screenshot with this machine for the thumbnail. I'm thinking... Oh, it's considered it done, actually. It is actually considered the contract finished. Huh. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to take a screenshot of this for the thumbnail. I'm thinking either the factory as the background. I wanted the forest, but... Eh, it's green and the tractor is green. That might not look the best. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But we're just missing this triangle. I just want to finish this one. But as you can see, it is very forgiving. So if we're missing a few pieces here and there, it's all right. It appears I'm left with this very annoying triangular shape. <laughs> oh, boy. Final piece right here. And... Done. Perfect. All right, where am I going to put this thing? I'm going to fold it, I think. And I think I found the perfect place for taking a good screenshot of this setup. Yep, that is pretty good. All right, let's turn off the engine. There we go. And let us go ahead and accept... Well, not accept the contract. Collect it. <laughs> and that is 905 9500 sorry sorry dollars right there so we now have thirty six thousand dollars that is enough to get our silo so guys i really hope you have enjoyed this episode in the next episode we will be oh there we go we will be harvesting these three fields right here and placing down a silo i am very excited for it so Really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.